Whenever you've had long periods of dryness, it increases the chance for fire. Do you guys see that haze? That is not fog or anything. There's a fire around here somewhere. I can smell it. So we're headed out this morning in smoky conditions, looking through my windshield that has all the bugs on it. I'm just waiting for the rain to come so that it'll wash the windshield. It's hard to tell where it's coming from, where the smoke's coming from, because over here, um, it doesn't look as bad as it does over here. But over here, you've got the sun, like backlighting everything. So who knows? Who knows if we're ever gonna find out where the fire's at. But I can smell it, and it's scary. And it's happening in Lakewood. All right, so I've got my parts. I decided I wanna come out here and do a little exploring. Um, it's definitely over in this area. Um, it wasn't even over in the area I got parts in, which is like three miles away. So I know it's around here, searching for the fire. I was gonna say it didn't smell like a house or anything. It smells like, it smelled like wood, but now I'm starting to smell like not wood stuff. Like, I don't know, maybe plastics or Maybe it could be a structure. It's getting thicker. All right, so we're starting to get less smoke over here. So I don't know, I don't know where it's at. Oh well, I tried. So I am gonna stop looking. I'm gonna stop the smoky vlog and turn around. And uh, if I hear something else on the news, which I don't watch, so I don't know how that's gonna happen. So if I hear something, I will let you guys know. All right, back out to the grind. I have my totally frozen water here. It will be unfrozen very soon and drinkable. However, have you guys ever noticed when you put a water bottle in the freezer and it's completely frozen, then you bring it out? <laughs> don't take the top off of it right away because it will actually spew out of the top of the bottle. So I'm gonna have to let it like sit there for a little while. Um, going back to my old job again today, uh, absolutely needing to finish up the car that I've been working on. Um, it took a little bit longer uh, than I had anticipated, obviously, but that's okay. It's the nature of the business and it's part of doing business. So with that being said, it's hot already. It is officially 27 degrees at 11.30 a.m. Hot. Red Solo Cup. Come on, you guys know the song by Toby Keith. Sorry. The heat does weird things to me. It does. Sorry, I apologize for my craziness. I'm done. It runs. And it's time to open up the water. First of all, I will tell you guys that as far as bottled water goes, do you guys have a preference? Arrowhead? It's disgusting. Especially after it warms up. A lot of water, even if it's disgusting when it's like lukewarm or whatever, it's not as bad when it's cold. But, oh man, this Arrowhead, it comes from California. And sorry Californians, but your water is gross. It tastes like stale sewer water, kind of. I know, I'm gonna get lots of hate for that one. Anyway, so here we go. Oh, okay, it's at the point, look, oh. I'll stop. Yep, in today's vlog, you can watch Troy drink water. <laughs> Deja vu, once again, we are back at the tree that is turning colors. I don't know why, now that I think of it, I don't know why the tree is turning colors. If it's just that time of the year, <laughs> or if it's dying because it's so thirsty. Hey, didn't think about that, did you? They could all be dying, they're like, ah, ah, we're all dying because we're thirsty. Oh my gosh freaking hot <laughs> I just need some relief I think we're gonna get relief by Wednesday of next week it's only supposed to get up to whatever the heck 22 is I, I'm thinking uh, I don't know I don't know I'm all mixed up with my temperatures now uh, Ram and Jolson are both coming over today uh, so we're hopefully gonna and I don't know about the weather it's gonna suck but hopefully we'll knock out some of the uh, carport that is my water bottle. It is frozen and it won't be for much longer. Uh, Josh is here, Jolson. And, oh, uh, and and your nephew? Little brother. Yeah. Little brother, oh my yeah. gosh, okay. Nephew. I, I screwed that to pooch, sorry. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. 
<laughs> uh, okay, Buffy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I didn't mean Poor it. Buffy. No ladder necessary. Now you can see how tall Ram really is. <laughs> Yeah, so so Sue and Ram are here, and they went and they brought over like freaking tacos, like dinner. Tacos, and I know Troy will eat about half of them before I leave. <laughs> I I haven't yet. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, no, you bring food, and you guys are helping to take this down. So okay. You know the easiest way of doing this, Troy, since it's a metal frame. Get your fucking blowtorch out. <laughs> down in seconds. Wow. <laughs> oh no, but you guys are awesome because you're taking Whoa, it. Oh, Sue, he's got the camera rolling. I need that. Damn, I missed it. A little bit of grab ass going on. Really? You, 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 you or her? Here, you want some grab no, ass? No, 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 thank you. No, I'm okay. My ass is well Here's grabbed, thank you. Vlog, I just wanted yeah. key. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's all she wanted was key. Yeah, the key got us two kids. Yeah, it's key master. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Gatekeeper. <laughs> Gatekeeper, key master. Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> yes, I have been working. If you guys remember when Keith and I used to do the haunt, he'd always tell me that you never do anything. He doesn't. We just rub dirt all over him to make him look dirty for you guys. Right, and that's why I got all this. Uh, and he loved every minute of the rubbing. <laughs> the double, the double entendres tonight, all over the place. There's a plethora of them. And Jolson's little brother. Has been the worst out of a lot of us. <laughs> I know. But he goes to public school, so it's okay. So he's teaching all of us. <laughs> right, right. He's learning us good. We've got like almost the the outside part done, so we only have like this section right there to do. So like 15 slats left. 3 and 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12. Wait. Yes, 12. 12 little I, sections. Uh, I think. We are going to get all of this area done. It'll just be over your tool crib here that we won't get done tonight. Yeah. And you should be able to whip that out in 10, 20 minutes. Maybe. Give them a couple energy drinks. Besides my fingers, there's something else in my hair. I yeah, all that paint. gel. No, that's sweat, bro. That's sweat. That's something, that's something about... about Mary. <laughs> I was just going to say ah. something about Mary. <laughs> hey, Grunt, get back to your garbage detail. You're not done yet. <laughs> All right, he want, he want water her. break. Aw, oh, Buffy's all worn out. Good girl. You should be saying that to Sue. Sue's the one to wear out. Good. Can you guys see that? You see that bat? You wanna know what that bat is eating right now? Freaking termites. It is termite season. Yay. And you guys know what that means. That means that Troy jumps up and down and knocks these things out of the air and tries to kill them because each one of those termites is a female with about 10,000 eggs to looking for a nest. Final piece of wood? Ooh, it is done, y'all. Look, it's stripped. Hey, it... I don't think you're southern. He's southern. I can say y'all. Y'all wouldn't understand. Well, I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but uh, there's no roof on the carport. I'm not sure if I, I vlogged it or not, but yeah, it's all done. It's all down. All of it. <laughs> it's so sad. Here. Let me take a uh, still photo with a flash. You guys will be able to see it. Ram has left. Uh, Jolson is firing it up. He's out of here. Going to get the Buffy. You get back in the house. It's been an awesome day. I mean, look at this. We've got the carport stripped down, which is like one of the major tasks to rebuilding it. And right now we're going to go in and do COC and relax some more. Because we can. Actually, I'm not going to relax. Actually, I'm going to take a shower. And go to bed. After I edit. And after I do COC. Boils and ghouls. 18 comments tonight. COC. Let's get it started. I'm going to attempt to do this without editing. Raw footage. Here we go. <sighs> Triv 27. First, Matthew Rondell. Second, Jolson. I still win. Chandra Horde. Man, so close. Sorry, I'm trying to thumbs up these at the same time. And Jolson again, I change the car's oil once every, or once a year every three, we talked about this tonight, this is funny. Okay, I change the car's oil once a year or every 3,000 miles, usually once a year comes first. The pickup is once every three years or 7,500 miles, I drain the two and a half gallons of oil. That's a lot. And I did not know that a, a semi-truck could go 50,000 miles, so 
that's a long time for an oil change. Do you still check it? Like before you leave on trips? I didn't ask you that. Okay, Greta Boss. Definitely put Jolson to work on the carport, giggle. Done. <laughs> Trip 27, 10 hour days are sucking the life out of me. Yes. Yes, I know. Right starter B, thank you, Troy. I will be bringing my car in for an oil change every 3,000 miles. Good. Do it because it sure beats, it's, it's a lot cheaper than paying for an engine. And in the slim event that the people that uh, change your oil screw up, you get a free engine. So, hey, more power to you. Okay, I can't stop and hold on. Uh, I'm trying to do this without editing. I am Vash. Is this Luigi Vash Trigon? Just curious. Do you want to go to the Piala Fair for free? Um, yes, please. Uh, Baldy Jack Troy, I might be going to Spirit Halloween today. I'm going to make a video of it. Awesome. Cool. Phoenix Fire 71, I love that the trees are starting. They're changing. I wish that would happen here. We don't get proper fall often because the heat lingers for so long. Wish we lived there. We would help you with the carport. Oh, that would be so cool. Tarkus said, wow, time to use sunscreen. You look like you got a bit burned. Um, nah. My skin is turning into leather at an alarming rate. Capzone 2, are you getting your shop rate at your old place of work? Uh, I'm not really at liberty to discuss finances like that. No. Uh, oh, wow. Gosh's Prop Shop? Troy, are you planning on doing any hunt-related activities at your home this year or in the near future? Stay scary. Uh, thank you. Um, you know something? I think that I'm just going to make a video on what I'm doing for the haunt this year because it seems like every vlog somebody asks that same question. Um, so, yeah. So, I, I might just have to do that. All right, guys. Happy haunting. Thank you for watching. Um, oh my gosh. 2 a.m. Got things to do tomorrow. Got to go to bed. Had a fun day. So, thank you, everybody that came out today. I appreciate that. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Good night. Good night. Happy haunting. I want to make sure I said that. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Happy